There's some kind of a, a rectangular shape here. It's flexible. I'm picturing printing, uh, printing on top of a rectangular, what, like a license or a passport or something like that. Am I close? close. And is this, uh, a, what, a birth certificate? A birth certificate? Does that make sense to you? <laughs> this is your birth certificate, and I thank you very much for your help. <clears throat> oh. Was that a Canadian birth certificate? Yes. Oh, good. Look right down at it, if you would. Uh, picture it in your mind, some attribute that jumps out at you. Look right down at it. Right there, okay, I'm picturing a solid object. This is solid. You've had this with you for quite some time. This was a gift of some sort. Somebody gave this to you. Is that true? In a manner of speaking. In a matter of speaking. You picked it up at a show or something. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm picturing some colors here. There's some reds and silvers. There's moving parts. You carry this in your right pants pocket. Uh, normally, uh, there's is a... Uh, pocket knife. Is it a pocket knife? It is. Is it a Swiss Army knife? It is. And show it to everybody so they can all see exactly what you've chosen, and I thank you all very much for your thoughts. Take your fist, hold it in between the palms of my hands, and visualize the style or the shape of the object. Now, this is not your object. Is that true? Not true. Somebody gave this to you temporarily. And uh, let's see, would you hold it right in between the palms of the fist? Right there. Okay, now I'm picturing a solid object. It's opaque. You cannot see through it. In fact, it's a container. There's something inside of it. Is that true? True. Uh, but you only know what's inside of it in your mind. You haven't physically seen it and cannot see through the container. Is that true? true. Visualize the style or the shape. Now I'm picturing a soft, pliable object, uh, clear in, subs, uh, oh, oh, in some type of a liquid of some sort. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it does. In fact, this is uh, two objects uh, isolated from one another. There's a, a set of contact lenses comes to mind. What is the object? Contact lenses. Exactly. Oh, that's perfect. Bring back the object I was having trouble with. Hold it right in between the palms of my hands uh, without letting it touch my hands. The one I was having trouble with here. Okay, right there. Okay, now this is an object that's very peculiar in style and shape. You don't normally carry this with you. Is that true? It's not mine. It, oh, perfect. That makes sense. I'm picturing... Uh, <laughs> Uh, sometimes you get lucky. And uh, let's see, I'm picturing a, a silver or a solid object. There's uh, moving parts of some sort. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, this is of. some kind of, kind of a tool. It's like clippers. It's used to cut. Is it a cutting tool? Some kind of a cutting tool? Yes, it is. And in fa but it's not like uh, fingernail clippers. It's something else. Is that true? Yeah. And let me just try and tune. Oh, this is a splicer, a splicer of some sort, kind of splicing wires, used to splice wires. Does that make sense to you? A no. uh, cigar splicer. <laughs> That's as close as I can get, and I thank you very much for your thoughts. <clears throat> Remember, oh, let me peel these off. Notice as I approach my eyes for the first time, a, a, come from behind my head, never approaching my eyes, you can verify there are no broken tapes, directly sealed against the face, two solid 50 cent pieces remain embedded in the sockets of closed eyes. Oh, before we begin, I asked somebody to think of a name right here printed on a card. Are you still here? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. perfect. Take your card, uh, or your fist, hold it in between the palms of my hands and visualize the name that you've... Oh, this is perfect. Uh, you're married. Does that make sense? You're married. Yes, is that true? Yeah. And this is your wife's name. Is that true? It is. Uh, visualize her name for just a second, and she appreciates that. I'm um, picturing... Uh, right there. It starts with... Uh, oh, five letters involved. Five letters involved. I'm picturing a uh, C... A C, an A, a T, an H, a Y. Uh, Kathy comes to mind. What is your wife's name? It's Kathy. Exactly. And I thank you very much for your help.